Lawmakers back at the Capitol today making uh, marking overtime for senators and representatives. WHO 13 Capitol Bureau reporter Zach Fisher joins us now. Zach, an agreement today could help bring the session to a close. Yeah, Aaron, big movement today on a priority that state Republicans have been talking about since day one. The Republican Party leadership has come to an agreement on property tax reform. The governor's office sending a joint statement from Governor Reynolds, Senate Majority Leader Jack Whitver and Speaker Pat Grassley. Now, the quote goes on to say this bill, quote, curbs the growth of local governments in a responsible manner and begins reducing property taxes next year. It goes on, in total, the bill is estimated to provide $100 million in relief, end quote. So just a little over a week and a half ago, lawmakers in both the Senate and House passing their own separate bills, but now each chamber will see the final version that has already been agreed upon. Here's some sound from that House debate. By my estimations, this bill, if signed into law, will lower every Iowan's property tax bill by north of 20 percent. We've had many failed tax policies over the last 13 years, policy that did not help our everyday Iowans. This, I believe, helps everyday Iowans. So that was a House Republican agreeing with the bill. Senate Democrats already put out a statement saying that they agree with this agreement as well. So the Senate looks to debate this final version of a property tax reform tomorrow. Aaron. Okay, we look forward to more details. Thanks, Zach.